welcome to the Storybox Project. My name is Fern and this is our Christmas theme. In this activity, we're going to think about some movements that fit into our theme, Christmas. So these will be our Christmas inspired movements. So the first movement that I would think of is eating our Christmas dinner. So let's try and eat our Christmas dinner and perhaps we can cut it up and eat our dinner. So we'll cut our dinner up and eat our dinner. So it might be turkey, veg, Yorkshire puddings, Brussels sprouts. So let's try movement number one again. So movement number one, our Christmas themed movement is eating our Christmas dinner. Okay, now let's try movement number two. So movement number two, I thought could be inspired by snowballs and snow. What do you think? What movement can we think of that is inspired by snowballs? Perhaps we could pick a snowball up off the floor. Well, pick the snow up and make it into a snowball. That's it, make it a bit bigger, depending on who you're going to throw it, throw it at. Wow, really big. And we could throw the snowball Watch out, I'm going to throw it and you can throw it back at me if you like. Let's make another snowball. Ready, should we throw it together this time? One, two, three, throw. Okay, so that's movement number two. Movement number three. Um, now I was thinking about putting something on top of the Christmas tree. So it could be a star or a fairy or an angel. What might you put on top of the Christmas tree? What do we think? I think I'm going to put a star on top of the Christmas tree. So I'm going to reach up and I'm going to put a star on the top of the Christmas tree. We could put a fairy or whatever you would like to go on top of your Christmas tree. Okay, let's recap. Let's go back to number one. So number one is, of course, the most important thing we all do at Christmas time, eating our Christmas dinner. So cutting up the turkey, some carrots, some Brussels sprouts and eating them up cutting them up and we're eating it. That's movement number one. Let's try movement number two, snowball fights. So we're making the snowballs, making them nice and big. Make sure we've got our gloves on so we don't get freezing cold hands. And we're gonna throw the snowball, one, two, three, throw the snowball. Okay, and number three, we have putting the star or the fairy on top of the Christmas tree. Let's try that together. Perfect. Okay, let's move on now to movement number four. What, what do you think this one might be? What do you think I'm doing there? Perhaps kissing under the mistletoe. I'll put it that way so you can see. So let's try that one. Let's pick our mistletoe up and give someone we love a kiss under the mistletoe. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, good. Uh, let's try another one then. Number five, movement number five. Now, I'm not sure what we think to this one because I think I might fall flat on my bum, but I was thinking about ice skating. What could we do for ice skating? 
What movement might we do? Maybe something like this. I mean, that's not the best ice skating, um, but we could move our feet a little bit, move our arms. As always, just do whatever is most comfortable for you. If you can't do any of the movements um, as I'm doing them, then you just do whatever's comfortable for you. So maybe something like this. You can pretend we're ice skating. Okay, uh, and then how about writing our Christmas cards? I'm sure some of us have long Christmas card lists to write, so we'll write them. Next Christmas card. Our hands probably getting quite tired writing all our Christmas cards. Okay, and then the final one that I thought was important to add into our movements would be the Christmas nap. So I'm not sure about you, but after we've had our Christmas dinner and we're so full from our Christmas dinner, we might all have a Christmas nap, perhaps in front of the fire, perhaps in front of the television, wherever that might be, um, we might have a Christmas nap. So we'll have a big yawn. Oh. Ready for our Christmas nap. Now, how about if we recap all of our actions once more and then I thought it might be nice to put some music to those actions. So, we have eating Christmas dinner, snowball fights, putting the star on top of the tree, we have kissing under the mistletoe. We have ice skating. We have, what was the next one? Oh, writing our Christmas cards. And then of course, an afternoon Christmas nap in front of the fire. Oh. Perfect. Shall we try that with some music to get us in the Christmas spirit? Okay, let's go for it. Here we go. We're eating our Christmas dinner. Snowball fight. star on top of the tree. I will kiss under the mistletoe. And what about ice skating? And we've got writing our Christmas cards. of course our afternoon nap. Perfect. Let's try and do those actions one more time with the music and let's perhaps try and do our actions really small and then really big. So let's start first of all with eating a very tiny Christmas dinner. Let's have a little bit. And a big Christmas dinner, the biggest Christmas dinner you've ever ate. And then let's make a small snowball, small, a small throw. And let's try the biggest snowball, big snowball, the biggest one you can do. And then a big throw to me. Good. And then let's try putting our star on top of a tiny Christmas tree. And then putting it on top of the biggest Christmas tree. And perhaps trying a tiny kiss under the mistletoe. And then a big kiss under the mistletoe. 
And then we've got uh, ice skating small. And then big ice skating, the biggest ice skating we can do. Okay, and we've got tiny Christmas cards. Write our little tiny Christmas cards. And the biggest Christmas cards we can. Big Christmas cards. Big handwriting. And then a tiny Christmas nap. And the finally to finish, the biggest Christmas yawn, Christmas nap in front of the fire that we can. <sighs> Brilliant. And we'll stop that there. Now I hope you enjoyed those Christmas movements that we just created. And if you did enjoy this video and you might want to have a look at the other Christmas themes, you can do so by pressing any of the other videos in the playlist just below. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel and that way you can be the first to know when the Storybox Project uploads any new videos and themes for you to get involved in. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you at the Storybox Project video soon. Bye for now!